sequence where we have to do things in a certain sequence. We've got to put our socks on before we put our shoes on. We have to put our shirt on before a tie. We have to run onto the field before we play the game. We have to bake the cake before we eat the cake. We have to lay the foundation before we can build the house and then live in the house. We have to do the exercising before we get the benefits of the exercising. We have to have the engagement before the wedding. There are so many areas in life where there is a sequence when you think about the Christian life. We have to read the Bible verse before we can quote the Bible verse. There are so many areas where it's about sequence and we really can't change that. This is just the way that God has set up the world. Well, this applies to something that is very, very critical in the Christian life. One of the critical statements in the Bible uh, pertaining to the Christian life and how it's so important that we be on good terms with God. 1 John 1 verse 9. John says, if we confess our sins, he that is God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Once again, that is very much about sequence. We do not get the result, forgiveness, until we first do what God is waiting for us to do, and that is confess our sins. Let's just think about a practical example. If, for example, a follower of Jesus gets angry at someone and they are harboring unforgiveness towards that person, there is no point saying, I'm just going to bury that, I'm just going to cover that and get on with my Christian life. And it's all right, I'm going to be forgiven. That's not what the Bible says. We've got to confess the sin before we receive forgiveness for the sins. This is about uh, having that sequence right and recognizing that this is a conditional thing. In 1 John 1 9, John is talking about something that we need to do, and then it's followed by a result, but it's highly conditional, starting with the word if, that conditional particle. We've got to confess our sin to get the good result of cleansing and God making us right again. So this is so important in the Christian life. We simply cannot allow uh, sin to accumulate and our lives to be polluted by sin. It might be lust, it might be greed, it might be anger, it might be an attitude. When the Holy Spirit gets on our case and we realize, yeah, I, I have sinned against God. My, I've lost my peace. I haven't lost my salvation, but I've lost my peace. I'm just not having that close walk with the Lord. What's wrong? We understand, yeah, I know what it is. There's something that needs to be put right then we need to swing into gear and apply 1 John 1 9. We confess the sin and then we receive cleansing. May God help us to really apply this. This is a this is a text we need to be applying over and over and over. Two of us can say we even go a day. Two of us can say we have an immaculate day even where we don't even have a wrong thought or a wrong attitude. No, this is this is a, a standard thing in the Christian life where we need to be constantly confessing and receiving God's forgiveness so we can have that close walk with him.